Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So I've got this whole sunny day thing going on. It warmed up a little bit. So what I'm doing today is a few cold starts. And next up on my list, I bought a generator, a Honda generator. God, it was a year ago, September I think. And I kind of put it into the hoard, and I started it and made sure it generated power, but I kind of put it into the hoard and didn't do much with it. And uh, here it is. Um, it was sitting in that corner over there. So I just walked up to it. I turned the gas on which is a good thing, which means the gas was off, which means hopefully the carburetor's okay. And it has an OEM carburetor on it, which is normally a good thing, by the way. This thing is an EG1400X. I don't know, that's probably like a three horsepower. Um, doesn't look like it's got a lot of miles on it. Doesn't look like it was abused. I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, anyway, so what I did is, before I turned the gas on, I, uh, mixed up a little, a little chemistry here. I use, uh, seafoam and stabilizer and gas, and, and I mix up kind of a heavy dosage. And then, um, when I put the cap back on, I spray the cap and into the gas tank a little bit with WD-40. And I don't know if you guys could see in there or how well you could see in there. Um, there are some little water globs. Um, there's less than there was. And probably it'll all go back into solution. Um, as a matter of fact, I might hit it with a little, little dry gas uh, also. I checked the oil. Once again, I turned the gas on. And, um, where's the choke? There's the choke. So I'm going to give it a couple of pulls, see what it does. And if it doesn't fire right up, then we'll hit it with starting fluid. Because Harvey, uh, Harvey doesn't like pulling strings for too long. Uh, so once again, I checked the oil. Um, it's got gas in it, obviously. I stabilized the fuel. Right, because I didn't want to open up the carburetor and let nasty fuel in there. Um, I did shake it up after I put the um, the stabilizer and the sea foam and a little bit of dry gas. So the engine's on. Let's see what she does. So, Harvey normally goes three pulls. Now we'll try a little bit of um, starting fluid. Hopefully, you guys could see. Oh, you guys could see pretty good. Let's see what she does. Remember, guys, just a hood will do ya. Okay, very nice. Now I'm going to put a bit of a load on it and let's see what she does.
Okay, so this is your typical 100 watt light bulb. This is one of those kilowatt things. And right now I'm looking at Hertz. And you guys can see it's not really as stable as I would like it to be. From a watt point of view, power factor, wattage, that's about what it was when I plugged it in. From a voltage point of view, the voltage looks pretty stable. Not too bad. I wouldn't worry about that with my electronics. But I am a little concerned the frequency is moving around a little bit. I mean, it seems to go from uh, just over 60. Actually, down to 55, 53. So, not too bad. I'm going to let it run. Um, there's really nothing worse you could do for a generator than letting them sit around for long, long periods of time without running. Running them does a couple of things. It um, dries them out, right? Putting a little load on them, make sure the coils dry out and all that. It exercises the circuitry that automatically controls the frequency and the, um, and the voltage and all that. So I'm gonna just let it sit there, probably let it run 15, 20 minutes. I'm also going to move it into a better place, a place that's um, easier for me to, uh, to use it. Um, but just the way the frequency is bouncing around a bit, though, it probably will not be a generator that I use for electronics. As a matter of fact, even though it says Honda on it, given that the frequency isn't rock solid, if um, if somebody offered me some crazy good deal, I would probably consider um, trading it out uh, because I have the Generac for real power, like if I have to run my well or if I decide to run the heat pump or any of those other things. It has the ability to hard start. It's got pretty good voltage and frequency control. Um, the only bad thing about it is it's mean on gas. Then I have the little Ryobi that's like plugging something into a wall outlet, but it tops out at about 1400 watts. So my thoughts would be to use the Ryobi given that it like uses, um, I, I don't think it uses a gallon of gas in 24 hours, um, especially if it's lightly loaded, you know, five, 600 watts. So I would have a tendency to use the Ryobi to run the pellet stove and the TV and the satellite dish, which is enough for me to stay warm and all that, and then sporadically fire up the generator, the Generac for um, refilling the well tank, and um, if, uh, if I wanted to run the furnace for a little bit um, to get hot water and to put a circulation through the... Um, through the hydraulic, hydronic lines, whatever, the hydronic lines to, uh, to keep everything defrosted. Uh, that's probably what I would do. And then, once again, keep running the, um, the Ryobi to, uh, to run the minimum on the house. Those of you might say you could get away with one generator, and that's absolutely true. But I kind of learned it hard one time. We had a freak snowstorm in October the leaves were still on the trees and it pulled tree branches down everywhere and it knocked the grid down good and we were without juice for a week well it really didn't take all that long before I couldn't get gasoline right it became hard to get gasoline and I had back then I had an old Coleman with a, uh, a horrible loud Briggs and Stratton on it and boy that thing was a thirsty thirsty creature it it burn like a gallon every every three four hours uh, even when it wasn't loaded that that hard um, so it, it you, you know what I took to doing is running it about 45 minutes in the morning and 45 minutes at night 
to keep the um, to keep the refrigerator and the freezer good and you know to do the min minimum around the house but um, quite honestly if uh, if it were cold and I was trying to run something for much longer hours like the pellet stove which you want to I'm on the f tape um, it would be much harder to do anyway I have to run folks I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing remember to keep your feet down keep your head up and get out there and enjoy all your days bye now